DJ in Atlanta this year, uh, Cinespin, and he's going to be playing with you tomorrow night, I think. But I think I'm playing tonight on the big stage and tomorrow night on the little stage. And we were just talking about my secret, like my secret weapon track that I just got. So I've got lots of fun stuff. I think I could have done real responsible and carrying my schedule around with me and all that. I should know. I think either 10 or 11, one of the two. That's why I said, just go have fun. Go listen to other DJs and I'll be there. I know I'm on main stage tonight and secondary stage tomorrow. And secondary stage will be fun too because when you're on the stage that's not the focus point, you can play lots of stuff that you could never get away with playing on the big stage. <laughs> so I'm just saying. So I guess I'm going to make this easier on me and turn the floor open to you guys. Who's got questions? Yes. Guy Fox. Uh, I cannot say anything about that, but uh, let's see. Did you? No, I can't. I, I can't say anything. I was I, I was about to say something very bad that would probably get me in a lot of trouble, but no, I can't say anything about that. Yes. Where do you wear voices for people? For people? Are there any more um, CDs that you like? Yeah. Thanks for asking about that. Um, there are definitely. We definitely have some more projects. She asked about a project that I work on called Voices for Peace, or it's actually called Voices for. Um, it's a group of people in the anime industry that a, a few years ago decided there was a little too much attention pointed at those of us that do what we do for a living, and we decided to kind of do something that would be fun for us, but we could make raise money for charity. And so we decided we were going to make a rock album, as weird as that sounded. And uh, the first uh, the first album we did was called Voices for Peace because we re-recorded old 60s war protest songs. Uh, and it's kind of funny because uh, I always I always end up doing the punk rock song. Like I think I told them I think can once I not do the punk rock song. I think that's why they keep me around is to do the one punk rock song. But it was cool because I got to do a super hippie song in a super punk rock way. I got to do the, the theme from Billy Jack, One Ten Soldier, as a totally recorded punk rock song. Uh, and then we did Voices for Tolerance, which is um, like a, uh, it benefits, I can't remember the two charities, but that record benefit, or that CD, that shows my age, that record, um, that that CD benefits. But I know it's, um, one is the Southern Center for Law, and they do a lot of uh, representation, like legal representation for minorities in California and the South. And what? Southern Poverty Law Center, is that it? Do you know who the other charity is? Oh, you just know that. You just recognize the name of that one. There's two charities each album, and uh, and I know we we talked about doing one for. Originally, we were talking about doing one for breast cancer, and then it was going to be cancer in general. And I think now it's going to be um, part of the money is going to go to cancer thing, and part of it's going to go some somewhere else. But as long as there are charities for us to find to give money to, we'll continue to do it because it's a lot of fun. And uh, we even have done some live concerts. Like at Anime Central a few years ago, we did a concert. And um, I know we've got another one planned later in this year, but we definitely have some more music projects planned. I know Johnny Young Bosch's band, I Shine, wants to do some stuff for one of them. I know Carrie Savage. Uh, wants to do something really interesting, but I, I'll just let be a big surprise because she doesn't sing, but she she's um, definitely a performer, and she's got an idea for something that'll be really cool. We've also kicked around the ideas of like recipe books for like um, uh, Voices for Hunger, and do like a recipe book, and all the proceeds go to like a food bank or something like that. So um, yeah, I hope I hope to be involved with Voices for Hunger for a long time. Yeah. I would definitely love a copy of it because I actually have a small local radio program uh -huh. that I do on the internet. I only have 475 listeners at the moment because I've done it for only it's, X amount of years. You can find it, uh, you can actually download the new album on iTunes. It just I, don't have, uh, I don't have iTunes. Um, well then CD Baby, www.cdbaby.com or um, you can find more information at www.voices4.com. Or I, I, actually, I actually gave your brother a copy of the okay. radio program. Very cool. um, awesome. It has my email address if you love it. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. Love and then you. You'll be next.